Hello and welcome to this presentation about Augmented Gaussian Processes.jl, a general toolkit for Gaussian processes, which I've been working on the past few years now. So first, uh, what are Gaussian processes? Well, there are a certain class of models among Bayesian non-parametric models, which help us to basically model any kind of function we want in a Bayesian setting. Uh, what it means is that we can make uncertainty quantification about the predictions we make, and um, other really cool stuff like having easy hyperparameter optimization uh, without any cross-validation or anything like this. Um, in the classical case, what you would do with Gaussian process would be regression. So you try to model some output y given some input x, uh, and f would be the latent variable for it. And when you do a Gaussian noise, or you assume you have some Gaussian noise for your observations, it's extremely simple and you know the um, posterior analytically, the thing you're looking for. But what I'm interested in is but more about other kind of likelihoods, like uh, classification or uh, multi-class classification, counting events, stuff like this. So that's one of the motivations for um, AGP.jl. Uh, one is to implement as many algorithms as possible that exist, as the GP world is quite vast, even the niche, but there's a lot of things to, to implement. Um, to use it for my own research, which leads to very efficient uh, inference, so very fast training times, and also to implement all the tricks in the books to make everything a bit faster and easier. So I was speaking about the GPU world. Um, in terms of models, for example, you have sparse GPs, um, which are basically making GPs scalable for larger amount of data. Uh, online GPs, if you want to work with um, streaming data. Uh, multi output GPs, if you have, uh, well, multiple outputs. And what I mentioned before, non conjugate GPs are, as for here, for example, for uh, classification. Um, all these methods are really nice, but most of them don't have an exact uh, inference um, method. So you have to use to approximate some approximations. And a lot of techniques exist, and again, that's also something you want to have for. A lot of op as many options as you want to have. So, in the what exists in right now, um, I'm citing the biggest packages in MATLAB is the original GPML. In Python, it was converted to GPy, and I would say the most popular ones right now are GPFlow and GPyTorch, where most research papers, uh, what which most research papers use right now. In Julia, we have Steno that you probably know from William Tebet, who did just before. Uh, Gaussian processes.jl and my package um, augmented Gaussian processes.jl. So, um, what my package has so far is exact inference. If you want to use normal GPs, you can. You can use stochastic variational inference, um, so then to work with non conjugate, and you can have an analytical one. I'll come back to this, um, which is very efficient because you have the updates in closed form, and a numerical one. And here we just use this. Uh, approach of like being able to compute gradients very very straight in a very straightforward manner uh, and you can also do sampling um, in the same way that we have analytical updates we can use Gibbs sampling again I'm gonna give you a short description about it and uh, Hamilton Monte Carlo which would come at some point in terms of likelihoods I tried to make a large like cat catalog already with regression likelihoods classification multi-class some counting uh, likelihoods and more which are really easy uh, to add. So I just want to make a really quick um, talk about what my research is and how I can apply it to make things uh, a bit more interesting. So in statistics, there is a certain type of distribution that can be written as a scale mixture of Gaussian. So here is this integral from zero to infinity. So you can just imagine an, an infinite sum of Gaussians with a varying variance. And here with variance omega, we have put a prior on it. And given the prior, we can actually have different p um, likelihood. So for example, student e or logistic. And now we can use this property um, to augment our model, hence the augmented Gaussian process. Uh, so we add omega to our model. And by adding omega, we are able to get what we call full conditionals. And these full conditionals will help us in, in many ways for inference. Uh, we know them in closed form, so we can just directly get a Gibbs sampling algorithm. And this algorithm tends to be much more efficient than more classical methods like Hamilton and Monte Carlo. I mean, here you can compare with uh, results I got from Turing, uh, where the Gibbs sampler tends to uh, go much, much faster and is, uh, has a better correlation. Uh, 
the same thing can be applied for version inference. Uh, you can basically converge in one or two iterations uh, to your optima, which is uh, an extremely, extremely fast, um, extremely fast inference. So um, yeah, and this also scale to big data when you start to use sparse Gaussian processes. Uh, but this is a bit interesting. So to implement new likelihoods, well, you need some derivations. Uh, I'm actually working on making this a bit automatic, but this is an ongoing research project. Um, but it doesn't require so much efforts in the end. So I just want you to make a small demo about what you can do with it with Pluto. Um, so here I'm just loading some packages. Uh, I'm making a big list of different likelihoods and I'm creating some data with my favorite toy function at the sink. So here is my data. You see that it's very, very noisy. Uh, and I use the student likelihood for, for simulating the noise. And here I just give my data to my model, give a kernel from kernel functions, uh, likelihood and a way to solve the problem. And I just need to train it. And then I can make all the predictions I want on some test data. So um, this would be the mean and the uh, covariance of my predictions. So now I can try a different likelihood, for instance, and this would give me something a bit different. And I can even use some classification, maybe. And again, I get a different result. Uh, you can do the same thing with sampling. So of course, it starts to be a bit more noisy when you get samples, but this is due to the data here being very, very hard to, to learn. Um, so but now what is left to do is basically to add more likelihoods and more inference because a lot of new stuff is coming and it's very exciting and would be interested to, to add to it. Uh, there's still some bugs which need to fix definitely. But I think the main message is that right now we're really working together with uh, William, Sharon and David to make a unified Gaussian process package which would be usable for anyone, whether it's for research or for just applications. And um, both my work and William's work, try, we, we try to all make it in one place um, for Julia to have a very strong uh, Gaussian process framework. Thanks for your attention.